Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am travelling from Manila to Port Princesa on the island of Palawan. Let's just say it wasn't the smoothest journey in the world. Oh my goodness. I've had a... I can't even speak. You might have to wait so I can pull myself together. I've just had the most disastrous time. I booked a flight to go to Porto Presenza. I'm going to come back to you when I've calmed down. Long shot is, there is no long shot. Okay, I don't know whether I'm feeling better or worse. I've had a nightmare. Although it is my first real travelling complete and utter nightmare. So I've booked this flight with, I'll put the name of the airline in because I can't remember what it's called. And when I hit, I will buy the ticket, what I didn't realise is they changed the date from the 14th of January to the 14th of March, which is obviously no good. So that's why I was having difficulty in checking in. So anyway, I had to go to the information desk and yes, they had another ticket, but it was between seven and 8,000 pesos. And I don't have that kind of money. So I then tried AirAsia, same thing, nothing. Theirs was about 7,000 pesos. So I then went to Filipino Pacific. I'll put the links down below. Lovely lady I spoke to. She had a ticket for 5,800, which was the cheapest I could get it leaving today. Otherwise, there was no other flights for a week. So, thank you, Mr. Credit Card, because I don't have that kind of money. I don't have that kind of money. So, ugh, pull yourself together, girl. I've just spent more money on a one and a half hour flight than I did to get from England to Hong Kong. <laughs> but they always say that traveling does throw out these different things and this is mine. I'm sure in years to come I'll look back and I will laugh about this and I will remember it. But right now I'm not laughing. And right now I just want to cry. I am. Anyway, I've now got to, I'm in Terminal 3 and this ticket goes from Terminal 2. So she first of all told me that I could get a taxi and then she took one look at me and said, you know, there is a free shuttle bus, bless her. So I'm now going to go and try and find the free shuttle bus over to Terminal 2. My original flight was due to leave at 6.20 and this one leaves at 8 something again. I'll put all the details in below because right now I'm in such a mess. But I had to talk to somebody. So thank you for listening. I will calm myself down. I will calm myself down and then we will talk again. Okay, I've pulled myself together a little bit now. Things, in fact, have gone from not very good to pretty good. So once I had my meltdown, I caught a bus over to Terminal 2 from Terminal 3. And when I got here, I sat down and gathered my thoughts, bought myself a sausage roll and looked at my ticket and then realized it said cozy comfort or something like that. So I looked up online and then just realized that with this ticket, I have lounge access. 
So I came down, came into the lounge, and I've had a shower. Do you know what? From a moment of despair to a moment of joy. I feel so much better now I've had a shower. Can't believe that this was included with my ticket. Phew. I've had something to eat, and I must say I'm now feeling much better. Also, I checked on the app as to the cost of the ticket. And what I didn't take into account is the fact that I was doing the exchange rate from Hong Kong dollars to UK pounds because, <laughs> don't, it's not even funny. So I was using my converter to work out what I'd spent in Hong Kong and I hadn't changed it from Hong Kong dollars to Filipino pesos. So that's why it was coming out that the tickets were so expensive. Oh my word. It's only me that could get myself into such a pickle. So anyway, the cost of the ticket, including lounge access and an upgraded ticket to a much nicer seat, ended up being 67 UK pounds. I'll put the conversion rates and everything up here somewhere. But the long shot is, is I'm feeling much better. Don't worry, it's all good. <laughs> so I haven't just spent a ridiculous amount on a ticket. And I now have just under an hour before the flight starts the board. So I'm a happy bunny. Well, not so much a happy bunny because I've had to spend £60, which I shouldn't have done. But it's not as bad as the four £500 that I thought I had to, that I thought I'd spent rather. Anyway, I'll show you around the lounge because it's really nice and I'll see you on the plane. normally I would go to the economy class and today I can go down the comfort class or business class aisle makes a change for me I am so glad that I managed to get that lounge access it's made this a whole lot nicer I just want to get there now and go to sleep the flight's running a little late but we're just boarding now I'm in the second row, window seat, and even though it's a very short flight of about an hour and a half, we've got pillows and blankets. Well, I got here eventually, not on the plane that I thought. That was the plane I was on and not in the way that I thought, but I'm here. Took me a while. <laughs> With this ticket, I had in the whole luggage up to 25 kilos. Wow. Okay, I've just arrived at my hotel and it's a really nice room. Sorry if you could hear a noise, but I've got the air conditioning running and it is a little noisy. But I thought I'd give you a quick look around the room before I crash. To the right, there is a bathroom with a sink, toilet, and a shower. It is very basic. In here we've got two beds. We've got a single bed and a double bed. Up there is the air conditioning unit. There is a balcony behind here and I will show you the view from that in the morning. We've got a wardrobe, television and a dressing table.
But right now, I am going to bed because I am absolutely mentally and physically exhausted. And tomorrow I will show you the view out the window because right now you can see nothing. So with that, night night. That's up towards town. There's some form of construction going on over there. I don't know, but it looks like a bit of a beach or something. Right, I think it's time to go and explore. Let's go and see what Porta Princesa is all about. <laughs> 